<laughs> That's not what we order. That's not it at all. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am back at the airport. Today we are starting our journey to the IPF Bench Worlds. Day is finally here. I compete in like nine days, so we're starting the long, long trip. We are going to be spending, I think, four or five days in Amsterdam en route, and then it's on to Johannesburg, and then Sun City. Uh, you excited, baby? Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we are just waiting to board. We had some snacks. I am not cutting a lot of weight for this meat. Uh, it'll just be a water cut. So we had some pizza and some cactus cut um, potatoes from Boss Pizza. So that was fun. That was already a little bit better than <laughs> last year where I just had to drink water and I watched Jason eat this giant burger that looked really good. So um, <laughs> off to a good start so far. And our plane is already here. It's outside. So um, hopefully we'll have an on-time departure and everything will go smoothly. Welcome to Holland. <laughs> so we made it to Amsterdam. We are actually staying at a town called, I believe it's pronounced Leiden. <laughs> I think the N is not pronounced, it's spelled like Leiden. But um, it was like a 15 minute ride from the airport. So super quick, the town is adorable. There are canals everywhere. The weather's super nice. Uh, it's like sunny, like 20 degrees. There's also a marathon going on in town. <laughs> so like, all the patios are full. There's people hanging out, uh, enjoying the weather. So we just laid down for a couple hours, just sort of to take the edge off. Uh, the flight was awesome. Uh, it was like, we had like the friendliest flight attendant ever. <laughs> she was so nice and like, she would ask for something and she would go through like the whole like plane people and then remember what we wanted and go back and get it. So um, yeah, and it actually left, not just on time, but early. And as soon as we got through like passports, our bags had like just come off the conveyor belt. So it was um, really good timing with everything. Yeah, so we are just about to head back into town. We'll go explore a little bit. And then we are off to see the tulips. So we're just getting ready and we're gonna head out. So we just stopped on our little walking tour, one in Holland, <laughs> get a cone of fries. So we ordered a cone of fries. Um, we wanted to order these like satay type things. Um, I'm not sure if that's what we got. <laughs> I think we just said meat things because we couldn't pronounce what it actually was. So um, that'll be a little surprise, I think, <laughs> maybe for us. Um, so yeah, just waiting for our fries. Oh no. With stuff what? On it. Oh, like a booty. <laughs> That's not what we order. That's not it at all. <laughs> well, we got our giant cone of fries with truffle mayo and um, some kind of poutine with a meat sauce. <laughs> all right, well, adventures. <laughs> We are on the bus on the way to the Koi Kino to see the tulips. Alright, so we made it to the Koikenhof Gardens. It is crazy busy in here. It's really packed. Um, people are taking photos everywhere, like selfies, crossing over the barrier ropes. <laughs> um, and unfortunately, this is the last day that they're open this year. It's May 14th, and I can see why. A lot of the uh, flowers are a little worse for wear. It's the end of the season, but uh, it's still really cool, still beautiful. It's definitely worth seeing. The place is huge. 
Uh, we are on our way now to find a windmill <laughs> that apparently is here also. Um, so yeah, there's lots to see. It's a beautiful day. So we got very, very lucky for our first day in Holland. All right, so we found the windmill. It, it's not running, but uh, it's the first windmill we've seen up close so far in Holland. So definitely getting the full Dutch experience. So I'm atop the windmill now. It, the windmill is now actually windmilling. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's like the end of the season. The fields are bare. Uh, I saw a picture uh, of the windmill with like all these tulips in the foreground, but they are long gone, but still pretty cool. It's a pretty cool view. Here's the view from the other side. There's like this little canal and there are all the people in the square. See if you can find Jason. He's in there somewhere. All right, so we are back home. We're back at our Airbnb. And yeah, that was a fun afternoon at Koikenhof. It was, I don't know if it was what I expected um, in the sense that I did not expect it to be as crowded as it was. But of course, closing day, uh, beautiful Sunday afternoon. It's gonna be busy. <laughs> But um, yeah, it was fun. I'm glad that we finally got to see it. I've been to Amsterdam multiple times, but I've never been here during tulip season. And I guess I still haven't really, but I kind of caught a, you know, a little taste of it. So yeah, it was a great first day in Holland. Tomorrow and the next few days, we have some other things planned. But for now, I think we're just going to call it a night early, get some sleep, recover some sleep. Um, I didn't sleep a whole lot on the plane. I was getting some work done, so it was good. It was productive, but um, not super restful. But um, yeah, thanks for joining me on day one in Holland on the Road to Worlds tour. <laughs> and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.